Number four, recognize the emotional side. Sometimes, instead of just repeating what the other person said or wrote, it is helpful to recognize the emotional impact of what they are describing. Some phrases that are useful for this are, this seems really important to you. You appear to be feeling, that sounds really frustrating, or that sounds really scary. Number five, offer alternatives. Another way to understand someone is to offer alternatives to what they are saying. For example, is it possible that, I wonder if, would you agree with this idea? You can use these phrases to check for understanding, take the other person's ideas further, or perhaps to take them in a new direction. When you take their ideas further, you show them implications or meanings, outcomes of what they are saying. These may be implications that they understand but did not say, or they may be implications that they have not thought about yet. When you suggest taking the other person's ideas in a new direction, you offer an interpretation that is different from theirs. Number six, share your point of view, knowledge, or experience. You can share information, observations, insights, and experiences. For example, I have also experienced this when your post reminded me of, I noticed that, number seven, Request more information. Often, when we ask for more information, we can get deeper and more meaningful information, and this can make the discussion more meaningful. Or, you may just be curious about their experience and want to know more. In either case, some useful expressions to ask for more information are, can you tell me more about your experience? I'm curious about your post. Can you tell me more about what do you think would happen if you... No matter what technique you use to respond, always remember to be respectful of the other person and be open and honest. These are the references that we use to make this script. And if you're interested in learning more about active listening, we suggest you view these videos.